Yo, yo, what up, though? It's your boy, Street Coder Nate, and I'm back to bring you another dope episode on Street Coder. All right, so check it. Today, we about to make our iPad, for real, for real, a laptop. What I mean by that is, we about to install a Unix-like system, a terminal, onto your iPad. Now, this shit is wild because iPads never really been able to do something like this, and they got apps to do stuff like this and whatnot for the iPad, and it's still a workaround behind the scenes because it's not really like system-based terminal, but there is a Unix-like bash system on your iPad that I'm going to teach you how to get today on Street Coders. Let's get it. All right, so first off, why would you even want uh, a Unix-like system on your on your term, on, on your iPad? Well, first off, we programming on this channel, so we programmers and we want stuff that programmers want. Programmers like to program and use that little black box on your system that you've probably never seen before or you probably even never interacted with. Some people call it PowerShell on Windows or Command Prompt. Uh, you got the terminal on your on your Mac, you got the shell on Unix systems and uh, like Linux and stuff like that. But um, like, why, why, why do we have those? And I mean, I've been programming for a long time, so I understand that it helps programmers and people who are used to using computers, even ancient computers, it helps us like navigate the computer very well and very efficiently. All the colors and the uh, and the graphics and the animations don't really mean much to us. We really just trying to get the work done. And so that's what I'm about to bring for y'all because we're about to program so much on this channel. Uh, I've been setting y'all up, but what we're about to do after this video is get into a bunch of just different automations, like real cool automations that um, we can use to just make our lives a lot better. And first off, we wanna have a good system for us to code in. We got the Pythonista app, but we can have extensions to the application that make our lives a lot better, especially like programming on an iPad versus a laptop. So without further ado, I'm about to show y'all how to install this shell. Let's get into it. Okay, so we wanna go to this website called OMZ Forms. And so on OMZ Forms, it's, it has a lot about Pythonista here. Any questions that you got with the application, you come here, ask some questions or look it up and you probably find everything that you need. And so I came here and I asked about a shell because I, you know, I need to look for a shell. And I found this uh, documentation on the shells. And so pretty much we can just skip all the top part because believe me, when I talk, uh, you can come here and read it yourself, but it's going to create a bash like cell or shell for Pythonista. It's going to be ran right inside of Pythonista 2. And so pretty much all we need to do is run this command, right? Chia, like bang, 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 right? And it says simply copy, uh, simply copy the above line, paste into Pythonista interactive prompt and execute. It installs stash as a Python module under the sites packages folder and copies a launching script um, under, do, under home documents launch underscore stash dot pi for easy access. Okay, so that's what we're about to do. We're about to go over Pythonista, and then we're already at the console. If you don't know how to get to the console, you just gotta swipe over at the console. Bet. And now you just come on down to uh oh, is what is right there. Thank you. Come on down to the the uh command prop down there. You paste what you gotta paste and you press enter, and it starts to do the download dizzle. All right, cool. Clean it up. Installation good. Now what we gotta do is restart Pythonista. Let's do that real quick. And we go Pythonista. Bang bang bang. Cool, restarted Pythonista, and now uh, we can navigate over to the, um, we can navigate over to the uh, the installation, because like they said, it installed a, a launch script under documents launch. So let's go to my documents under this iPad, and then here we go, launch script. So this is the launch script right here. 
And so we don't really have to understand what's going on in the launch script just yet. We will on this channel, but right now we don't have to. All we need to do is just press play and bada boom, bada bam, it launches a whole shell right inside of our iPad, right inside of Python Easter. And look, you can swipe over Command J and go back to coding and whatnot. So say you got some coding file you're working on and you come back and your shell's still open. Bada boom, bada bam. And look, maybe we can even open up another shell. Let's try to open up multiple shells. So let's press play again. Boom, we got two different shells open. So we can open up multiple shells inside this application and then we can really run whole, oh shoot. We can really run whole ass, why is it a lesson breaking me back there? Okay, let me restart it. Okay, and then we could, let's see. Let's see if we can run ls. All right, yes, and we can run a whole lot of Linux commands. So ls, let's see if I can cd into, um, uh, do I have a project directory? Yep, there we go, projects directory. Let's cd into the projects. ls, up, oh, telodrome. Let's see what's up in there. We can cd into the telodrome, ls. Uh, even the tabs work and everything. Okay, and so at the telodrome, let's see if I can fire up this application. Let's see. First, let's see what this application is even about. Let's see if I can cap the, the context or the content to the to the screen. So cap, telodrome, bang, print right to the screen. Oh, look at this. This is the UI file I created in the last video that made that application. But remember, when I fired up the application, I had to go over here and then press play and whatnot. Let's see if I can just press play from, uh, like, if I can just say Python, um and fire up the application from this command line instead of having to go to the well let me show you what i mean so go to here and go projects telodrome had to come here and i press play and look it fired it up now i can click like that right let's see if i can avoid all of that by just going to the shell and just going saying the name of the Python file, because let me ls again, the Python file name is Telodrome. So if I go Python and I go Telodrome, let's see. Okay, something went wrong. It says, please uh, use Python 3. So let's try to use Python 3, or even the shortcuts work when you use option and command. Okay, Python 3, clear that up. Oh, Python 3, Telodrome, let's get it, let's fire it, boom. Fire from the command line, that is amazing. That is actually dope as hell. And then I can go ahead and click it. I can fire my iOS applications from the command line inside of here. And I can navigate, I can uh, ls the upper directories. I can cd up into those directories. See where my path is. Like you can do a lot of Unix commands terminal commands right here inside the Python East the shell. And this is amazing, honestly, because now we can really just write all types of scripts um, to help us with our just daily tasks on the iPad and stuff. And, if, and you know, fire up a shell as if we're on an I, on a laptop and just work through our iPad on through the shell. Like, that's amazing. While at the same time, having the availability to keep using the iPad as a regular iPad. Like, this is, 10 times dope like we're about to when i tell you get into some dope things on this channel you, you just have not seen it so i'm glad y'all stuck through it uh stuck through it got got here with these uh python commands installed the um installed the shell and now we got a whole linux slice system um right here and if you don't understand linux i actually got a course coming out on the whole like terminal basics and another course on Git Basics. So definitely check uh, check that out on streetcoders.io. We're building up a full community of things that street coders do, um, and we um, building out a community. So be on the lookout for um, um, just community, like a community link for you to join. Um, but check out streetcoders.io, it's a movement. Um, we're really helping people learn how to develop. Also, follow me on the ground, streetcoder Nate. Um, and on Twitter, Street Coder Nate just got on Twitter, so bear with me. 
Uh, but we pretty much, I'm on all platforms, dropping all types of content daily, Monday and Wednesday. If you are going through interviews, please drop by and understand these interviews. I'm teaching y'all interview prep, coding interview prep with Python. Teach y'all how to break these problems down and use Python to, to solve to solve it. You'll be found at any top tech company. These, these are the things we're going to be doing on this channel. Furthermore, I'm going to leave y'all with, if you are a university student and you're struggling with your work, your projects or whatnot, submit to me your projects and the lectures that go along with them. And I'm going to teach y'all how to do them by recording the course, recording the explanation of the lectures, and then recording the explanations of uh, the, the specification breakdown, and then also coding that problem up with y'all packaging it up as a course, which I can purchase for like $10. So definitely submit to me your university courses so we can get y'all this help. Uh, I believe in giving everybody like good tutoring at a very, very low price. So one way I believe we can tutor a lot of people is just creating courses for university students with the stuff that they're doing and people just purchase it. They're just a full tutoring session to break it down for you. So submit to me y'all stuff. Street Coder Nate. I'll get with y'all on the next one. Deuces.